Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. I am very, very excited today, and that is because I get to check out the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro B2 wireless microphone kit. If any of you have watched any of my other videos about wireless microphones, you will know that the Blink 500 is my favorite wireless mic system. And now they have the Pro version and I am looking forward to checking it out. This is the B2 kit. This means it's going to come with two transmitters and one receiver so I can actually have two people mic'd up or two sources mic'd up at the same time. They also sent me these cables that you can use with your smart devices. One is for, uh, for USB-C, the other one is for lightning. And yeah, we're gonna try the system out, see how it performs, but first, let's unbox it, see what it all looks like, and here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the box right here, and here are also the uh, the two cables here. This is the LC C35. This is the lightning cable. This is a 3.5 millimeter uh, locking type male jack to lightning audio interface, and this is the UTC dash C35. This is a 3.5 millimeter locking type male jack to USB-C uh, type C uh, audio interface cable. Let's just go ahead and actually take these out and take a quick look at them both and before we actually uh, open up the, the wireless mic kit. So let's go ahead and just see what these look like. And let's see, let's take this out. Oh, look at that. We're getting a, uh, we're getting a pouch with it. Some, uh, I guess some documentation in there. Telling, oh, look at that! Cool, a couple of uh, ceremonic stickers that you can that you can put on your stuff there. Um, yeah, all right, certificate of uh, of authenticity or something or warranty info. And here is the cable. Oh, I have to mention it. We have the silica gel. We have the infamous silica gel. There we go. All right, we get the nice ceremonic pouch to keep this in. And this is the cable right here. It has the locking type. Uh, of um, connection there, which means we should see the locking type of connection on the uh, on the mics there, or on the uh, mic and probably on the receiver as well. So um, now this is going, it should look like the same here. This one should just be a, um, a uh, lightning connected one. So we'll set all the documentation off to the side. And let's see, there we go. Uh, more silica gel, just love it. Nom, nom, nom. Don't eat it, don't eat it, never eat the silica gel. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the lightning connected one right here. And yeah, so we can see again the locking type on there. If you're ever worried about which one's which, you can tell by the connection or you can read the name right here where it says LC-C35. So if you're one of those people like me that has both an iPhone and an Android phone, you don't wanna get them mixed up. So, all right, let's set that off over there. And now let's go ahead and look around the box and then open this up. We can see here that says Ceramonic Sound Remarkable. This is a dual channel 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone system. We're going to get three devices in here. We're, we're gonna get two transmitters and one receiver. We can see where it says battery charging case, and we can get a little hint of it there, but we'll take a look at it when we open it up. We're gonna get the uh, lavalier microphones included, one-click pairing, and we can see here where it says Blink 500 Pro B2 TX, TX, and RX. So there we go. This is what it's going to look like there. We have the uh, we have just an overview of how this is gonna look, one-click pa one -click pairing. Uh, built-in mic and external mic options there. Um, yeah, so um, it says portable charging case for transmitters and receivers so that you can charge these up on the go, which is just incredible. That is just awesome. All right, let's go ahead and open this up here and get these out of the package so that we can actually uh, check them out and, and get this going. So let's see if we can push this out. Oh, there we go. And let's see if this is gonna trying to keep the box intact here. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm gonna have to try and get this thing going. I think this just should just slide. Oop, did I rip it? Don't wanna rip it. I'm trying to, trying to be gentle with this, but um, yeah, I can't see how to get this out of here very easily. Let me try this again. Nope, it's not coming out. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Let me just see if I can undo this side too. And let's see, this side seems to be stuck. 
Nope. Um, nope, there we go. All right. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Something wasn't uh, going on right. So, okay, let's get that. We have here where it says ceremonic sound remarkable. And there we go. Let's take all the documentation. We'll set that off to the side. Here is the kit. Look how nice and compact that is. This is perfect to throw in a camera bag, a backpack, a briefcase, whatever. All right, we're gonna have, it looks like we're gonna have cables and such in here, and that's gonna be about it. Nice presentation, really nice presentation. All right, let's see what kind of cables we're gonna get here. So, some more silica gel. <laughs> this is going to be a uh, dead cat for one of the uh, built-in mics of the transmitter. Uh, we actually are going to get two of those because we have two transmitters. We have a, uh, this is a micro USB cable. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. We'll have to see. Um, let's see. We have a uh, USB-C cable. So this is a USB-A to USB-C. Um, we have a, uh, we have a, oh, what is this? This is an audio cable. This is, oh, this is, looks like one for a smartphone maybe because this has the three lines on there. So it looks like it's going to be a smartphone. Yep, this is a TRS, TRRS uh, cable, so that's that. Um, and this is going to be a TRS cable, so this is gonna go into your camera, very nice. Um, and then we have two microphones, one for each uh, transmitter, if you wanna use a external microphone instead of the built-in microphones. I always use the built-in ones because I think they sound fantastic. So um, I'm actually not sure what the micro USB cable's for, but I guess we'll find out. The USB-C cable, I imagine, is for charging the um, is for charging the case here. So let's go ahead and open this up, and there is go there is the case. Look at that! You get a case inside of a case, so you can actually put this in there and store it. We can see here it says Ceramonic Sound Remarkable Blink 500 Pro TX TX RX, and then here on the sides on this side we're going to see where it says uh, pair and then open. Um, on this side, we're going to see this is going to be a USB-C port right there so we can charge it up. It's going to say 5 volts, 1.5 amps, and yeah, nothing really on that side. So let's push this and, uh, and open it up here. So there we go. Look at that. Oh, and when you push it, you can see the, uh, how, how much uh, charge is in the case itself. So there's four little lights to let you know how much charge is in the case. And uh, also you have this one button pair so that you can pair your devices up. So, all right. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a, this is gonna be one of the transmitters here. And we'll take this little plastic off there. This is just protecting it while it was in transport. Um, so it didn't, uh, because there is power inside the case, but I guess I didn't want it to charge up there. So we'll take that off. We'll just set that off to the side. And now when we put this on there, we can see there it's gonna light up and it's gonna start charging. Now this is one of the things that I loved about the Pro when I saw it is that it has this little miniature OLED screen on there, I believe it is, or LCD screen, I think it's an OLED. Um, that's one of the things that I didn't like about the Ceramonic Blink 500, the regular one, the non-Pro version, was that there was no way to see exactly how much battery power you had left and all the pertinent information on there readily on a screen. I wanted that and they delivered it big time. So, all right, here is the other one here. We'll just go ahead and take this, uh, we'll take that off as well and I'll set that off over there. We'll set that on there so we can see this is gonna start charging up as uh, the same on here. And then this here is the receiver. So we'll go ahead and take that off as well and, uh, and get this, put this back in there. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's just go over the receiver a little bit, see what we're gonna get. So we can see here, we're gonna get a microphone right there. That is the built-in microphone. It has a little bit like, it feels a little rubber gasket on there, a little rubber bit on there, which is kind of nice. It's a little grippy. Um, and then here is the mic line in. So um, it looks like, um, it looks like, no, it doesn't have the locking mechanism. It just has the regular. I thought maybe it might have the locking on there, but it does not. So it still has the regular, um, just the regular 3.5 millimeter. Now on this side, it has the, it has set plus and minus buttons, and then it has a micro USB port on there so that you can charge the devices directly if you want to, I believe. So if you're using these and you're on a very long shoot or something, maybe you need to actually have this plugged into power, you can do that. Or if you need to just charge this separately, I guess you can charge it with just 
the uh, micro USB. I'm not sure why they went with micro USB instead of USB-C so that everything is consistent on the, on the, on the Blink Ceramonic 500s, the, uh, the charger, the charging is directly on the transmitter and receivers and those are charged with USB-C. So I'm not sure why they went with, uh, with micro USB. It's, uh, it's an interesting uh, decision. Um, we can see on this side, there is a power button and mute button. So you can turn the, uh, the transmitter on and off and mute it with that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything there. So um, on, the, on the receiver here, we're gonna get much of the same. We have the set button that's gonna have plus and minus so you can change your, uh, your levels there. Also, you have the uh, USB, uh, micro USB port on there so you can charge. Um, on this side, again, power and mute button. And then on this side, we have our line out and our headphone jack. So the line out, this is gonna go into your camera or your audio recorder, and then this is gonna allow you to monitor your audio. So this is really nice if you don't have the ability to monitor your audio from your camera, you're gonna be able to do it from the receiver. That's very, very nice, especially for people that don't have that option. So for instance, if you're just, I don't know, if you have a GoPro, for instance, that's something that you can do. And I use these mics with my GoPro all the time. Some of these, uh, some of the consumer cameras have a mic in, but they don't have a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio. I think the Sony ZV-1 is like that. So yeah, all right. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook these up and actually test them right quick. I don't know if they have any power in there, but I'm gonna test them right quick just inside the house here and see what it sounds like in the studio. Uh, as a comparison, what you're listening to right now is me with my microphone boomed right overhead here. This is, uh, if you could see this, let me pull this down a little bit right there. That is just probably, uh, probably really loud in the microphone now since I'm moving it, but that is the, uh, the Ceramonic um, Soundbird T3. As you know, I love Ceramonic mics, and so that is what you're hearing right now. But let's go ahead and hook these up so we can hear what they sound like in comparison inside, and then we're gonna take them outside and use them how I would normally use them when I'm vlogging. All right, so I went ahead and hooked the mics up, so I'm using them right now. And yeah, this is what you can uh, expect from them indoors. Now, I don't normally wear my mic like this. I know I see a lot of people who wear their uh, their mics when they have microphones that have the, uh, when you have a transmitter with a microphone built onto it, a lot of people wear their microphones like this on the outside of their clothes. I don't generally do that. I usually wear it underneath my clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out right now. Let me just grab this. And usually what I do is I just clip it to my tank top underneath my shirt. So I'm just gonna grab it and clip it right there. And that's it. Now, the mic is hidden. Can't see the mic, but you can still hear me. It's just that simple. Um, I have both the mic and the, uh, both the mic and the receiver set to uh, to level three. So I probably will turn this up a little bit, maybe to level four because I like my signal coming in a little bit hotter, but it's probably about where it should be. Oftentimes, I have my stuff just on the verge of clipping and that's really not where you wanna be. You really wanna give yourself a little bit of headroom. But um, I think right now, this is probably about where it should be, but I'll probably boost it up just a little bit. So in fact, let me do that right now so we can see if we can do this in real time. So I'm gonna grab this and let's just see if I can turn it up to, let's see, I'm gonna see if I can get it going to level, uh, let's see if I can get it to level four. So let's get the volume up there. Let's see, where is the volume? There we go, mic gain and we will increase this to level four. All right, now we'll see that's at four. Let's put it back underneath my shirt here and let's get that there. What? I see you guys looking, trying to creep under my shirt. What's wrong? No, don't, no, don't do that. Don't, look. all right. Anyways, here we go. We are now at the gain level four on the transmitter. The, uh, the level is still at three on the, uh, on the receiver there. So this is what you can expect, so. Um, there is one thing I've noticed right away that I don't sort of, I, it's not that I don't like it. I wish they did it though. It's something that they, I don't see on here on the screen. I don't see any levels on the receiver. I really wish that there were levels on there, even just a basic, even just basic levels, So I can see if I'm actually getting audio to the receiver or not. And that is because. I often film myself. Sometimes I don't, you have a camera that has a front facing screen. And so I want to be able to know that I'm actually getting audio and I can see the meters and I can't. 
And so it would be really nice if I knew I was getting audio through and I don't see any levels on the, on the receiver part of this. That would be fantastic if they had that. So, um, and also the mute button, I accidentally hit the mute button up once already. I kind of wish that the mute button was, uh, was a little bit more dampened or it was at least set so that if you hit the mute button, you had to hit it and hold it for like two or three seconds before it activated because I've already hit that button once. I don't want to actually put this on talent somewhere and they accidentally hit the mute button and then you're kind of just screwed because maybe you're shooting a wedding or something or you know or somebody that's on like at a conference or on a stage and you can't just walk up and say hey the mute buttons hit hit the mute button turn it off anyways I wish it was dampened a little bit more. So anyways, this is what you can expect from the audio. Let's go ahead now and uh, actually head outside and go test it out and see what this sounds like in a vlogging situation. All right, so I just wanted to make sure you can hear this on level four. I actually had it set to three again. I thought I switched it to four, but I didn't. So when you're actually switching and making a selection on the transmitter or the receiver, you have to make sure that you do a long push to make sure that it, it locks that change in. So if you change, for instance, the mic gain from three to four like I did, you have to make sure that you actually do a long press on that after you make the, uh, the change so that you lock the change in. If you don't, it'll default or just revert back to whatever it was previously. So make sure that you have that done. So anyways, this is what you can uh, expect if you're at mic level or gain level four on the microphone with the built-in mic. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back underneath my shirt so that you can hear that. So let's move this here. And I'm doing this because, well, this is the way I normally wear my microphones is underneath my shirt like this. And so this is what you can expect. So this is microphone uh, gain level four on the built-in microphones of the Ceremonic Blink 500 Pro. And now let's go outside and try this out and see how it sounds in a vlogging type scenario. All right, everyone, so I am outside here, I'm in the car, and I figured since I'm gonna show you the microphone and vlog with it a little bit, why not head into DC and uh, take you out to the Capitol and show you the aftermath of the attempted coup. And uh, yeah, so let's head into DC and uh, just go check things out. Well, I made it down here uh, into DC, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty locked down tight. So it took me a long time to get out to get over here. Um, yeah, I was uh, got into the city really quickly, but then it took me just a long time to get up onto Capitol Hill because they have this whole area just locked down. So, um, anyways. Um, we're going to head over to the Capitol building right now. We're over by the Library of Congress and we're going to uh, then we're going to uh, head up out of here. So so you'll see here the Capitol is pretty well locked down. There is uh, pretty much military on every corner. And uh, yeah, so you'll see there there is military everywhere. They have this place locked down tight. So uh, most of the stuff that most of the places used to be able to drive by you can no longer drive by because the uh, cops have it all uh, blocked off but um, you can still walk through if you're uh, if you're down here all right there is the capital right there and as we can see there is a fence that is just all around it the entire capital complex is fenced off so yeah it is nothing like it used to be hopefully it's only the last towards the uh, inauguration but um, also, if you look over there, military there, and uh, military behind us, they're pretty much everywhere. They're just, uh, they have this place locked down for safety and security, so, you know, hopefully everything will be smoothly, but we're going to go walk a little bit along the uh, Capitol complex and see what we can, uh, what else we can see. I think we'll take a walk over by the Supreme Court as well. 
So this building right here, that is the Library of Congress. And as you can see, there's a military up there guarding as well, keeping the place safe. So big ups on them. Glad they're up there. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We're gonna keep on walking down this way until we get over to the Supreme Court. But if you look over here again, that is the Capitol. And again, you'll see there, it's just fenced off entirely. All right, we have some uh, impeached people out here, right there. Check out their signs. And yeah, there we go. So. There we go, I like that. All right, so here we have it, some peach, uh, some America wants accountability, and yes we do. Yes Trump we do. Your All right, right here on the Capitol. So even though the place is locked down, we still have our rights to come out here and make our voices heard, so there we go. All right, so there are a few people out here uh, protesting with their impeach Trump sign out there and saying America wants accountability, which we do. And uh, yeah, um, we can still uh, see the whole Capitol complex over here is just all still, um, still fenced off. In fact, everything over here is pretty much fenced off. So um, this is the Supreme Court over here behind me. I'm going to walk over there, but that's all fenced off as well. So you used to be able to walk right up to the steps of there. Now you can't. Now you're basically uh, forced to stay on the sidewalk back here. And it's pretty, uh, this place is pretty desolate. It's like a ghost town up here. I mean, um, usually there's a lot of people up here. There's been fewer with the pandemic. There's even fewer now. So, uh, but we'll go check out the Supreme Court just for a second. And then we're going to head up out of here. All right, everyone. This is the Supreme Court here. As you can see, it's all fenced off. So uh, you can't get close to it like we used to be able to. We used to be able to walk right up those steps and go by the pillars and everything else. And now it is completely fenced off. So this is uh, what we're looking at here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, it is nice to have the flag that have staff for in honor of the, uh, the Capitol Police officer that was uh, murdered. But here we have it. Supreme Court completely fenced off and not open to the public right about now. All right, everyone. So there we have it. That is it. That is a look at uh, sort of what the Capitol complex looks like right now. So um, yeah, there's police and military everywhere. We have the entire Capitol surrounded by fencing. The Supreme Court is uh, surrounded by fencing. Uh, there's military up on the uh, Library of Congress uh, complex. There's just military and police everywhere so yeah um you know it is what it is we get to see it hopefully uh, things can go back to normal sometime soon but if not this could be the new normal but let's hope it's not so anyways i'm out i'm heading back in heading back out um want to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like and uh i'm getting out of here now everyone so i am back home now and yeah the dc capital is looking completely different than it normally does yeah it's just yeah it looks different that's all i can say it looks like not a war zone but it looks like they're planning for something uh really bad there's a lot of military out there a large police presence everything is gated off it really is just yeah it's really unfortunate to see it but what we did get to do is experience the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro wireless microphones in real world scenarios. And we were able to hear what it sounds like if you're vlogging. If you vlog in the car, you got to hear a little bit of it there. If you vlog walking around, you get to hear, you got to hear a little bit of it there as well. Um, I, I love these things so far, I have to say. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect. I already liked the Blink 500, so I was assuming that they were going to be uh, just as good. And to me, I think they're better with the additional features that they have, like the screen and, and the charging case. I, I actually really love those things. Um, 
Again, uh, some of the things that I don't like about it, I really wish that the uh, that the receiver had uh, levels or meters on there so that you can actually see that you're getting audio coming through. It doesn't even have to be anything big, just something uh, basic that lets me know that there are actual levels coming through on there. Um, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I will say um, on when I was doing the unboxing and, and setting this up, I got a couple things wrong. Like, uh, you know, as far as reading what some of the various icons meant on there when I was pairing it up. You do have the one button push pair where you just push it in, pairs everything up. But I, where I was reading where I thought it was paired up was just simply uh, a, d a description of or a display of what the levels are at, the gain levels or the headphone levels, depending on if you're on the receiver or the transmitter. So, but no worries. I'm going to do a full review of these and I will talk about all of that. I'll get some detailed shots to show you, um, you know, what, what's what on, on, uh, on the devices, on, on the transmitters and the receivers. And I might even do a walkthrough video or something just to show people how, how they work and set it up and all that. So yeah. Anyways, there you have it. That is my unboxing and first impression and a little bit of a test of the Ceramonic Blink 500 Pro B2 kit. It's incredible. I'm loving it. It's great. Um, I was able to test it with the Sony A7R 3 which is what I'm recording with right now. I also was able to test it with the Ceramonic, or excuse me, with the uh, Sony A7S 3 and uh, this thing is incredible. It's an incredible camera and this microphone makes a, an incredible uh, companion to it. So anyways, I'm gonna leave links to this product down below in the video description so you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. <sighs> <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.